hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time you're very much welcome today is a vlog okay we are doing vlog scenes you guys have been asking me for vlogs but i don't really know what to do with vlogs because my life is not that interesting and i don't like vlogs too i don't watch other people's vlogs like their day in my life vlogs because i don't really want to know what's going on in your day every day so because i don't like that kind of content i don't want to make that kind of content but today i decided to make a vlog because why not today i've made so much content like i made three videos in one day and i'm so tired look if you ever think that content creation is easy it is not i've been talking all day and i still have to look for the right tags the right titles the right thumbnails like it's a lot okay content creation is not that easy if you feel like oh my god these people are making so much money from doing nothing dead that shit dead that thinking because it's not easy so yeah i'm waiting for my mom now and we are off to the dental office look nobody has ever made me insecure about my teeth like my family my dad will literally tell me when we are eating dinner have you made an appointment with the dentist and i'm like no every time have you made the appointment with the dentist now that i think of it i feel like he's indirectly telling me that i need to fix my teeth my mom does not even do it indirectly she's always telling me your teeth looks like a dragon's teeth you need to fix it and the problem is not that i can't fix it because i have the insurance and i can't but i'm a little bit scared about doing teeth stuff because if i lose my teeth huh like I always say, I'm kind of vain and superficial. So physical appearance matters a lot to me. So I don't want to lose any part of my body. I love myself so much. And that's why I'm scared of going to the dentist. But I've decided to finally do it. I finally, I finally set an appointment to fix my teeth. <coughs> Mado. Now that I think of it, I think the teeth actually looks ugly but for some reason i've never felt insecure about it none of my friends have ever told me that the teeth looks ugly no stranger has ever told me that like i've never there are other parts of me that people always point at like you look this your this part of your body looks like this this part of your body looks like this but when it comes to my teeth nobody has ever said anything and it's so weird because they be telling me that my face looks rough or that i look too skinny or something but they never say anything about my teeth except my mom and my dad my dad would do it softly like telling me when are you going to set your appointment but my mom will go all in and tell me how ugly my teeth looks but it's good to have people that will be honest with you but i've talked too much you see why i don't do vlogs you see why i don't do vlogs so i'm waiting for my mom now so guys i realized i did not give you updates about what happened in the first checkup this is because they refused to allow me film inside the office i don't understand why they were just i don't know maybe this, she's insecure about what she's doing or i don't know why but she just refused me to film it so i have to tell you what actually happened what happened was that she first checked my teeth to see if i would need to fix something before getting the bubble because if you get the i call it bubble in netherlands it's called bubble in english is called braze so she basically told me that if i get the braze without trying to clean up my teeth or check for infection i'll get more infection and my teeth Did might you know, kaput so that was what happened so i had to so she had to check for any infection or, or something like that and it happened that i had no infection she just brushed my teeth and did some little dental stuff i think just to do something because you have to do something to get money right if she doesn't do anything then she doesn't need to get paid so she did some cleaning and stuff and then created an appointment for the auto dentist because she's not an auto dentist she's just a dentist i guess so we created an appointment for the auto dentist to come and fix my teeth so yeah that's what happened basically she just did some cleaning and i told her to clean one cavity because i had a cavity in this place so she helped me clean the cavity
So after eating this bowl of fufu and vegetable soup, which I did not cook by myself, so in case you're thinking, oh my god, she can cook, she's such a wife material. But no, not now, not soon, but of course later, eventually. <sighs> I'm going out of contest now. <laughs> South Cade. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> my God, I, oh, I was frustrated before coming here. The journey that was supposed to take me just 15 minutes max took me one hour. Ten, what am I even saying? One hour what? It took me like two hours. And it took me two hours because I tried to find out the place myself. If I had followed the 9292.nl, um, it would have taken me more than hours because that 9292 is supposed to recommend like buses and trains that I'm supposed to take. But instead of showing me like the right ones, it's showing me how I would travel the whole of Netherlands before I get to that place. So for example, let's say I'm going to Amsterdam now. It would show it. It would show me something like I'll go to Venlo first. Okay, no, let me not give that give that example. So from my house to this dentist shop only takes one hour on the norm, but the app just showed me something different. So I wasn't able to film inside the dentist office again. So now I have to tell you what the result is. The result is I cannot fix my teeth now because I was supposed to do it before 18. Because if I do it before 18, it would be cheap. But now I can't do it because I'm an adult and it will cost me approximately said like 3,000 or 2,000 to get the boggle. Is it they call it boggle or brace? The brace, okay? And I have to literally save up for that. So I would save up. I said save up. So I'm going to save up for that. I would save up to, you know, fix my teeth because I need to fix it. I don't like my smile anymore. Yeah. And I'm very self-conscious about it. I'm sorry I'm always looking at myself. I'm, gosh, my beauty is always distracting me. But anyways, yeah, so that's the update about my teeth. I can't fix it anymore because I'm an adult now. So I have to pay for it. It's not free. Dude, dentists are making so much money. Maybe I should add dentist to my list of what my future husband should be because dentists are making a lot of money. I went for a ch checkup, a teeth checkup, and I think it was 13 euros per 30 minutes or something like that. I've forgotten, but the amount was ridiculous. But yeah, they are doing their job. So what can I say? In fact, if you're a dentist, holler at me. I want to marry you, okay? I love you already. Period. Period. Periodic table. Guys, you know when I complained about the transport system in my area in Netherlands, something worse happened to me yesterday and I was so pissed. I mean, it took the big Jesus out of me not to fight the customer care. So yeah, as usual, you have to call to know if the bus is coming or not, where I live. It's not everywhere in Netherlands, it's just where I live. I need to move out, honestly. But yeah, you need to call the customer care to know if the bus is coming or not so that was what i did i called them i called them and they told me that the bus would be there by 4 30 p.m meanwhile i was already there by four i just wanted to make sure that i would go on time and i asked her is it for sure because i don't trust the bus system here in ibit are you not ashamed of yourself and she said yes for sure the bus is coming I waited till 4 39 
and i was already panicking even I, even after she assured me that i would get the bus by 4 30 i was already panicking because there was just something in me that told me that something is not right i waited till 4 39 so which means i waited for approximately 40 minutes for the bus to come standing in the bus stop everyone was passing me looking at me i was literally the only one because i don't think anybody here enters the bus because you either have a bicycle or a car in the area i live it's not a city area at all absolutely don't like it but yeah back to the story so mm -hmm. i'm pissed off i need to eat ice cream so i was all ready so i carried my beautiful self with my bad makeup to the bus stop to enter a bus and i waited for 40 minutes and the bus never came you know what i did i called them again and said you told me that the bus would be here by 4 39 what's going on the next thing she said she's is that oh this is not 439 this is 437 by my clock now i said okay okay fine fine i was the one who made the mistake so i'll wait for two minutes more so i waited two minutes more the bus did not come i said okay maybe it is late let me wait three minutes more three minutes more the bus did not come i called again so this is the third time i'm calling and she said oh yeah the bus is supposed to come now and i said no it's not here and then she said oh okay let me check why the bus is not here and then she checked and she said oh this is vacation period because this is summer period in the netherlands so it's holiday period and she said this is holiday period the buses will not come to your area i don't see where i live because it's dangerous yeah And she said the buses will not come because this is vacation. You have to call a bell bus that will take you to Akrum. And then from Akrum, you go to... um, And then from Akrum, you enter a train, I guess, to Herivin. And then from Herivin, you go to Drax. Like, what kind of... What kind of... Something that will take 30 minutes max. She's telling me that I should take a three-hour journey. Like, what kind of rubbish is that? Like, I could literally call a bell bus... To take me to Drax, you know, to take me to Besteswag. Okay, I feel like I'm calling too many names. And if you're not living in the Netherlands, you can't understand what I'm saying. But the transportation is really messing me up in this area. It's not a general problem in the Netherlands. It's just a problem where I live. And it's really not a place for young people like me. That needs to move around and be flexible. It's a place for... It's a family place for people that are settled and have a job and have a car and have everything going on for them. But I have to stay here because it's free rent, my family house, so I have to stay. But are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. So yeah, after she told me that, I was I was literally crying. I was telling her, but you were telling me that the buses are going to come for sure. And you assured me, I asked you not once, not twice. I asked you severally. You said the buses will come for sure. And then she said, oh yeah, but now I'm seeing that they're on vacation. Oh, now that was what she was just repeating. Like, what happened to, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I did not know. Because you're supposed to know as a customer service that this is not the time for the buses to come, right? Well, it kept on assuring me and I was standing there because now it is already up to one hour that I was standing there waiting for the bus and the bus never came. And all you're telling me is that, um, they were, uh, bruh, I was so pissed off, honestly. So I cried home like an idiot. So I wanted to make a vlog for you guys because I was going to a perfume store, but I'll still make the vlog, Sha. Guys, tell me something. What do you think about this camera? Like, I'm loving it. I'm lo loving it. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. What do you think about it? It's so crisp. Or is it just me? I feel like it's crisp. It looks so good. So, yeah. I'm still going to make the vlog. So, my mom is going to take me to the city center with her car. And, yeah. That's the only option I have now. And then I'll make the vlog for you guys. Because I love you. I will still do it. Whatever I say I'll do, I'm going to do. Two hours later. So, today, you see this bicycle. This bicycle has been a problem since we bought it. So, we are going to return it and probably repair it or just return it and collect our money back or collect another bicycle any of the options would be fine as long as this bicycle start working because the transportation system in the netherlands is messing me up like it's messing me up big time okay okay so now i need to repair my bicycle so yeah that's what we're about to do now so come along with us Wish all the hashtags, likes and tweets will find a way to get lost 
Yeah, and when I pull up to the scene, I wonder what the hell is the cost. Oh. And yeah. Oh, I don't, I hate this lighting. What kind of lighting is this? What kind of lighting is this? Mm, this is so comfortable. Cool. Did I start having this rubbish setting? Look at this picture. This phone just shows literally every fucking thing. Like, can you blow some things out? <sighs> the fuck? <sighs>